Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, it's your man Earl. Listen, episode 334, November 30th, we are on the verge of the last 31, 31 days in, in December? Yeah, last 31 days in December. We thank God for November. We thank God for a good month. We thank God for a solid month. It's been very rewarding. God's grace is sufficient to carry you, to keep you from failing and falling. He can sustain you. Listen, let's get right to it. 30 straight days of sales. By grace of God, we have accomplished it. We are in a book called What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School. Notes from a Street Smart Executive. And we are on page 113. I read this book almost, oh my goodness, 30 years ago. I'm thinking at least 30 years. Yeah, it's, it's been about 30 years ago. 30, 28, at least uh, about 25, 28 years ago. Okay. Marketability. Paragraph on page 113. You're listening. Many years ago, I was having dinner with Andre, the chairman of Rolex. When a friend of his stopped by the table to say hello, how's the watch business? The friend asked. I have no idea, Andre replied. His friend laughed. Here was the head of the world's most prestigious watchmaker saying that he didn't know what was going on in his own industry. But Andre, the chairman of Rolex, was dead serious. Rolex is not in the watch business, he continued. We are in the luxury business. Now, we did a video on luxury sales. I don't know what number it is. Uh, you can go back and look at it this month. We did a video on luxury sales, and this is so true. Marketability is knowing what business you are really in and understanding the underlining perceptions, customers, clients, prospects that connect your product to the people it is being marketed to. I could end the video right there. Marketability is knowing what business you are really in and understanding the underlying perceptions that connect what? Your product to the people, the customers, the clients it is being marketed to. When you are in sales, you have to have a firm understanding on what your company and who your company is marketing to. All right? Marketability. Know your product, believe in your product, and sell with an educated enthusiasm. I added education. Okay? I added education. You can't be ignorantly excited. Because when somebody asks you a question, it means you have nothing to respond with. All right? Know your product. Believe in your product. And sell with an educated enthusiasm. I added education. Okay? Part of knowing your product is knowing all the reasons someone might not want to buy it. I like that. All right. You got to know the pros and the cons. And there are no cons. It's just understanding that your product is not meant for everybody and everyone. We talked about that too. Everyone is not your customer. Don't try to convince a potential client, a potential customer, a potential buyer that your product is in How do I say this correctly? Okay, let me rewind that back. We don't we don't erase mistakes. Don't try to convince that your product or your service is what your buyer is looking for if your product and service is not designed for him. Thank you. Concentrate instead on doing what? Selling to somebody who wants to buy what you have to sell. All right. Once again, I'm pausing on purpose. I'm pausing on purpose to guys, make sure you guys get this. Once again, everybody is not your customer, client, or buyer. All right. It's okay. All right. It is okay. 
Know your company. Know your company. Know your product. Make sure you are sitting down in front of the right guy, the right person, the right woman. Okay? Now, they spend a whole page on this. We talked about getting to the decision maker in the last book. One of the biggest problems that sales sales people have is figuring out who within the other company you're selling to, if it's business to business, who will be making the decision on that. If you're selling direct to customer, it's finding out who and what your company is marketing to. All right. Uh, Let me see here. Positioning. We might go over that next month, by the grace of God. Positioning. Uh, understand the position you're in business-wise, okay? Understand the position you are in. What position is your product in, okay? Uh, They spend on page 126 to talk about imaging. Another type of positioning involves transcending the facts. Associating your product or service with positive, desirable values which have little or nothing to do with the product itself. Now, I can name drop some companies that do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm not getting a check from them yet. Okay? Nevertheless, understand positioning and imaging. Okay? Marketability. Marketability. Is there a passion factor? Suppose you get a craving to buy ice cream. And when you get to the shop, you discover the price is double. Are you still going to buy it? Okay. Is this a one-time deal or is this a future consistent transaction? Talking about passion, talking about value. Okay. Value. Marketability. Let's close with this. Let me see if I can find a closing point here. Positioning. Okay, I'm going to close with this. Marketability. Positioning. I am going to go over it. The word positioning in business has scores of meanings. A company positions itself for the future. A product is positioned for the marketplace. And you, my friend, position yourself for advancement for a sale. All right? The word has so many business meanings. In fact, it can become meaningless. So be careful about trying to position. Make sure that you are positioning the same place that you are marketing. Okay? God bless you. God keep you. Episode 334, Marketability. Understanding who and what your product or service is being marketed to. Who is your customer? Who is your client? Who is your potential buyer? God bless you. God keep you. Peace.